Hello, magandang gabi po sa mga nandito sa Canada and North America. Mga nasa US po nating mga kasama. Magandang gabi and sa mga nasa Philippines, it's a great uh, Tuesday morning. I hope that you're having there. Ito po si Dr. Iris from Filipino Success Movement. Medyo matagal-tagal na po tayong hindi nagkikita-kita at nagkakasama-sama. And it's because I've been very, very busy the last uh, few weeks. Marami po tayong mga finalize a uh, few uh, business ventures. So um, on top of that, ang ating um, usual things that we do like pagiging nana, you know, having uh, the medical practice and all that. So today, pag-uusapan po natin something in relation to that. Uh, I have been reading a few comments uh, regarding po sa paano may mga nagtatanong ng mga members natin sa group ng Filipino Success Movement. Sinasabi ng iba, how do we, uh, how do I structure my day? How do I, you know, schedule my time? Meron pong mga nagpa-private message, you know, uh, paano ba gawin ito, ganyan. I'm aware na karamihan po sa ating mga members, sa ating group, and mga followers po natin dito are uh, usually mga moms or, or dads who are, you know, on the side, they have businesses, or they are very busy with career and very driven people. Yung mga nagpa-follow po sa ating page tend to be people who are, you know, very driven, uh, very motivated. And so naturally, pumapasok yung question about productivity, how do we uh, structure our day para tayo ay maging ultra productive. And so, you know, to help us in our journey um, na magkaroon tayo ng meaningful success sa buhay. So isa po yan sa mga hot topics natin, a frequent question I encounter. So ngayon, gusto kong uh, i-share sa inyo yung mga insights na natutunan ko na hopefully may kailangang makarinig at may kailangang, uh, may, merong matulungan at may apply ito sa life. Kasi very busy ang life minsan, di ba? We juggle a lot of roles. So before we get into that, I just want to say hello to whoever's here. So let's pull up yung comments. So Marlin is here. Hello, Marlin. Magandang umaga. And Rosemary is here. Good morning. And say si Trisha is here. Good morning, Trisha. Um, Ever is here. Good morning. And see, si, um, Mirna is also here. Uh, si Rex is here as well. Magandang umaga sa iyo. At saka si Genevieve. Hello. And good evening. Yes, it's a evening evening time na dito sa Vancouver right now. It's currently 7:41 p.m. Long day, you know, it's a Monday. I had a full working day sa clinic and then I'm working on a few things to finalize a business venture that I'm getting into. So very, very busy ngayon. And also si Sheshe, hello. Hi, Sheshe. And we have um, Eileen from Japan. Hello, Eileen. Kumusta ka naman dyan? Sana everything is, uh, sana you're safe and your loved ones are safe as well. And so andito rin po si Sheila. Magandang umaga po, Sheila. And Grace is here. From San Juan, thank you, Grace, for watching. And again, Marlin from Bulacan, yes. And then, si Jerelaya. So, have a nice day din sa'yo. So, again, sa mga kaka-join lang po ng ating talakayan ngayon, it's all about how to be uh, ultra-productive. Karamihan ng mga nagpa-follow sa atin dito, sa Filipino Success Movement, even doon sa aking page, salamat po sa mga nagpa-follow din sa Iris Radev MD uh, page. I think some of you are aware uh, na, you know, maaring very busy nga tayo sa different aspects ng life natin. But I always emphasize sa inyo yung importance ng having that harmony. So ngayon ang question, how do you actually like get into that space kung saan you can have harmony, you can have that time to um, devote to your wellness, but at the same time, reach your goals. Diba kasi, ano yan eh, maraming mga bagay-bagay na pwede nating um, pag, you know, sabay-sabayin. Indaiji, where are you Indaiji? Si Indaiji po tumatawag sa akin. Indaiji, wait lang, nasa live ako. So, uh, let's see here kung andito si Inday. Hello, Amy. How are you? And then... Eileen is here as well. Hi. So again, going back sa ating talakayan about productivity. Um, watch out po because I have decided to uh, create a video about this because it's a really big topic, yung productivity. How do we 
um, become ultra productive para mapagsabay-sabay natin yung mga bagay-bagay na yan. Ang pagiging nanay, ang pagiging negosyante, you know, ang pagiging career woman, kung wala kang negosyo, career woman. Ang pagiging asawa, pagiging kaibigan, and at the same time, have the time to focus on your health and well-being. Kasi very important yan, di ba? So how do you do that? So again, it's a huge topic. And I will be releasing a video about this. Pero one of the things that I would like to share with you, isang uh, tidbit, na gusto kong i-focus today, would be um, yung isang tip about having a routine. So kung merong isang bagay, siguro na makakatulong sa atin to, to start, right? Like to, uh, just to have like a general flow, magkaroon po tayo ng routine. Anong ibig sabihin ng having a routine? Well, first of all, you have to identify yung mga klase ng araw na meron ka. So we, you know, we break down the days into, let's say for example, we have the weekday. Ito yung day na Monday to Friday, kung usual schedule ka. So this is the day when your kids go to school or online school or whatever, or the day that you go to work, kung ikaw ay nagtatrabaho or employee, or this is the time that your husband goes to work or your wife goes to work, and this is also the time that you actually are working on your business, kung ikaw ay negosyante. So ito ang isang example ng typical workday natin. So that's one kind of day that you should have a routine for. Kailangan mandatory na yun eh. So bakit very important magkaroon ng routine? Why do we say na, you know, if you want to be ultra productive, if you want to be successful, why do you need a routine? Sa tingin ninyo, bakit? Hello, Miss Lulu. Good evening. Yeah, Sheila. I will release that video uh, soon. So, abangan lang. Thank you. So, ano po ang inyong thoughts? Can you share with us some thoughts why you hear me saying that one of the things that have helped me to become successful at what I do is to have a routine? Bakit sa tingin ninyo importante magkaroon tayo ng sinusundan na routine sa pang-araw-araw? Depende sa araw na meron tayo. Why do you think that is? Meron po ba tayong mga answers dyan? Janeline? Hello? And nandito rin si Franz. Hello? Joan? Joanne? So, sino po? Sino po ang merong answer? Kung bakit ganun ka-importante, why am I stressing the importance of having a routine sa ating everyday life? Ito, meron tayong sagot from Marlin. Sabi ni Marlin, para po maging maayos ang gawain. Very true, right? Kasi kapag meron kang routine, may ina-expect ka that you have to go by, you know, a certain schedule in a day. Parang expected mo na yun. Eh. You put your mind into this frame where, okay, ito ang pasunod-sunod kong gagawin. Right? Like, ito yung, okay, ito ang oras ng gising ko. Ito ang oras kung saan papakainin ko mga anak ko. Itong oras na kakain ako. Itong oras na ganito, ganyan. Time for work. Time for itong asawa ko and that. Uh, I think one of the, so, in relation to that at teka basahin muna natin isa-isa so sabi naman ni uh, Jerelia sabi niya have daily routines to survive po tama di ba kasi it helps you minsan kasi ano eh yung mga nangyayari sa life natin very overwhelming minsan hindi inaasahan so pag tayo na doon sa mga situations where we are faced with challenges Minsan wala ka nang anong mag-isip, di ba? Kasi para kang na-overwhelm. So one of the things that can guide you to keep going throughout your day, kasi hindi naman pwedeng huminto yung mundo mo, lalo na kung may mga nakaasa sa yung maliliit, is to actually look at your routine schedule to guide you na lang. Kasi minsan sa sobrang, ano mo, di ba, overwhelm, parang ayaw mo na mag-isip. And so if you have a set routine, what that will do for you is it takes away the thinking that you need to do para doon sa mga moments na masyadong magulo ang isip mo, meron kang masusundan. Right? So ang ganda ng sinabi ni Jerelia, para to survive. Uh, sabi naman ni Mirna, 
Sabi niya, para alam natin ang prior priority, correct? Diba? Kasi whatever you put in your routine, obviously, is something important to you. Kasi kung hindi naman yan ganun ka-importante, then it doesn't really deserve to be in that routine. Hindi ba yung... Uh, kasi we have to prioritize according to our... yung mga most important things in, in our lives first. And so yun ang ilalagay natin doon sa routine natin para yung mga bagay na hindi pasok doon, huwag masyado nating pag-aksayahan ng panahon. Otherwise, dadaan ng araw, feeling mo wala kang na-accomplish. Sinong nakaka-feel ng ganun? Parang dumaan na yung araw, parang wala kang nagawa. Does that sound familiar to some of you? Kasi ako dati ganun. Ganun ako dati. Nang walang routine sa life ko. It's just like, Tapos na yung araw, anong nagawa ko? Wala. Wala akong masyadong na-accomplish, wala akong masyadong natapos. Diba? And it's not a great feeling to have. Para kang, um, you feel so defeated, right? Like para kang, para kang masyadong talunan kapag uh, natapos na lang yung araw. Wala, parang wala kang concrete na nagawa. Um, something that relates to your goals, for example, to your business, to your career. to your family, pag wala kang nagawa sa mga bagay-bagay na yun na importante, parang feeling mo talunan ka. So, it helps set your priority. Sabi naman ni Eileen, Eileen, Eileen Tarata, to avoid panic. Again, that that's so true. Kasi um, it sets you in kind of a frame of mind na sunod-sunod ang gagawin. So, again, it's relating to that overwhelm. Kapag ikaw ay na-overwhelm na at wala ka ng time mag-isip, um, Ito yung pwede mong gawin. You look at your schedule. Sabi naman po ni Geraldine, proper time management to do all the things we need na, import, na importante. So again, it is, um, you know, um, just to emphasize yung mga sinabi na natin dati. Uh, sabi naman ni, uh, who's here? Let's have a look here. Sabi ni... Marlene Opotama, importante yan. Oh, si Madam Glenda, ang ating team healthy friend. Hello, friend. Hi, Glenn. Sabi ni Glenn, it helps us to accomplish yung mga certain goals, you know, whatever it is that we need to do. So true. Very true po yan. And then si Leilin. Hello, Leilin. Ah, para hindi sabog. So tama, Grace. Ang ganda ng word na ginamit mo. Para hindi sabog. Ganyan ako dati. Sabog. Sabog lagi. But, you know, there is a, you know, my journey is a testament of uh, hope na maari pa lang mabago yung mga bagay na ganyan. So, si Ever nandito, priority first. Sabi naman ni Leilin, I pri prioritize ko po mga anak sa morning para no guilt to accomplish other things. So, again, it's all about what do you need to uh, prioritize first in this stage of life. Hindi ba? Like, kung currently ikaw ay nanay, meron ka mga maliliit na anak, then yeah, that will be your priority first. So that's great. And sabi ni Marlene, ayoko po na walang gagawin sa isang araw. Yeah, so true, di ba? Para nga ma-feel mo na hindi naman nasayang. Kasi you know what? Um, as you've seen dito sa nangyari sa atin sa pandemic, life is very short. Right? Like, if you don't make the most of it, you never know. Hindi natin alam. Nakpanood niyo yung video ko, I hope, about Lloyd Cadena, right? Lloyd Cadena, he's a very productive individual. He, he was very accomplished. But, you know, there was no telling na ito na pala yung panahon niya. And so, it remains true for all of us. Walang makakapagsabi. Ako hindi ko alam kung hanggang kailan na lang ako nandito. But you know what? I try to... you know, like, live each day as productively as I can in the ways that matter to me. Diba? Kasi bawat tao naman iba't iba ang mga bagay na nagmamatter sa kanila. You have to know ano yung mga priorities mo. And then you make a routine out of that. Kasi iba ka, iba rin siya, iba rin ako. Mga bagay-bagay na pinapahalagahan natin, iba't iba po yan. But the important thing to not miss out on living life the best way that you can And according to your highest potential is to really know what's important to you and create a routine around that. So, kapag gagawa ka ng schedule. Like for me, I normally do it here. So, meron po akong... Um, so, I love I love my notes. Kasi here, mahilig ako mag-checklist. I, I like doing that. I normally create a checklist um, the night before. So, ito yung aking priorities. And it really depends... I would do like the most important things that I know I need to do first for tomorrow. Lalagay ko na siya dyan, and then I would look at it before I go to bed para if you frame ko na yung aking mind, okay, tomorrow when I wake up, this is what I'm gonna do. 
one, two, three. So yung aking mga important things. And then that way, your day gets set. So dito papasok yung, because I know a lot of people struggle with social media consumption. And I have created a video about that uh, to address this particular, uh, let's just say parang epidemic na siya, di ba? But there is a way to, um, you know, still be very, uh, let's say, active in social media in the way that you need to be without compromising your productivity mo. So say, for example, in my case, um, as you know, ang at aking platform is on social media. And a lot of you are also on social media for the same reason. Karamihan sa inyo, online sellers, you know, mga promonatics, di ba? So majority of what you do online, na pagkakakita, I mean, majority of what you do ay online. Kasi yun ang tutulong sa inyong kumita. And I understand that. But how do we separate? How do we, like, uh, create this parang discipline in ourselves na ito trabaho, ito personal social media consumption. And so, it always boils down to doing the things that you need to do first that relates to um, helping you achieve a goal. So say, for example, in terms of yung kikitain mo, kung ikaw ay um, online seller, then you focus first. Yung mga una mong gagawin in the morning after all your other chores or other you know, things that you've set in your schedule and routine are done. Focus ka muna dun sa tutulong sa yung kumita before anything else. So to give you a clue, um, I, I will say that maybe I spend 30 minutes or less a day, if there is a day na nandun ako, on personal social media. So what does that mean? Ibig sabihin po, paggagam paggagamitin ko ang social media it's mainly to promote my platforms. I don't go on social media to consume. So ito yung very, very important po nating tandaan sa mga ating mga online uh, entrepreneurs dito, yung ating mga mompreneurs dito, yung ating mga uh, career or not so much career but business people. Kasi a, a lot of promotions happen online na ngayon. So it's a must. Hindi po ba? Dapat meron talaga tayong presence online, but uh, to maximize our productivity, we shouldn't really consume social media personally. Yung hindi nakakatulong, I'm talking about yung part ng using social media or internet na hindi makakatulong sa iyong negosyo. So yung part na yun, kailangan nating bawasan yun. So for example, yung, you know, like personal personal page, if you don't have control at you find yourself na, you know, scrolling, 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 na kailang oras ka na dyan sa personal page mo, that's not a good use of your time. So try to limit that time. And I'm giving you a marker of what I do myself. It's less than 30 minutes a day. A lot of the times you see me, you see me every day on social media, it's mainly to be on my platforms. So that has nothing to do with personal. So yun po ang very important na tatandaan po natin yung ating mga um, gusto maging productive na mga mommies dyan, mga daddies, mga online sellers, mga online entrepreneurs. Very important po to have that discipline. Uh, kung gusto nyo, lagyan nyo ng timer. Kung hindi nyo pa muna ma-master ma ngayon, uh, hindi nyo mapigilan ang sarili nyo at medyo kayo ay very ano, sa social media um, parte talaga ng buhay nyo, pagising nyo, ano agad, right? Facebook agad or ano. Then, put a timer. And also, try to do that kind of lower down the list. Kaya nga, accomplish yung mga kailangan muna nating routine. Unahin muna natin yung mga routine na naandun sa ating schedule before yung ating mga personal na hindi naman makakatulong sa ating negosyo or sa ating career, sa ating pangkabuhayan o sa ating pamilya. So yun po ang very, very important tip that I want to, to share with you how I navigate all these uh, business. Kasi po sa totoo lang, um, you know, I, I am a full practicing doctor. I have businesses on the side. At meron din po akong social life. Uh, a lot of my time I spend outside of, um, outside of the online world. I, I really try to live you know, yung tunay na buhay, hindi po online, kundi tunay na buhay. So very, very deliberate yung time na I spend on on online, on social media stuff. Very deliberate yan, schedule po siya. 
So if you can do something like that, that will really help you um, in uh, managing your time. So yun po yung isang maibibigay kong tip sa inyo po. So kung hindi pa ninyo kaya yung ginagawa ko na less than 30 minutes a day on personal social media, then do it for less than an hour. Hanggang ma-master nyo na po. And the main reason why I actually am on um, personal social media is kasi malayo po ang family ko sa akin. You know, my main family is in the Philippines. So that's the only way I get in touch with them. Kung, wala, kung nandito lang po sana yung family ko, I wouldn't even be on social media like personally. I, I wouldn't you know, waste my time, so to speak. Pero dahil malayo po at yun lang ang way na makita ko yung mga pamangkin ko, yung mga tita ko, yung mga nanay ko, yung kapatid ko, di ba? So then I go on it and I look at their, you know, and I have a very few number of friends. So that's, I guess, the other thing is to consider. Consider po kayo gumawa ng private social media account. Isang account kung saan nandun lang talaga yung mga importanteng tao sa buhay nyo and the people you really want to hear from. To give you an idea, mine is so few. Bilang na bilang lang po talaga. Kasi nga, I don't really, you know, waste time there. I do have another account, which is mainly for um, networking. So, doon marami akong kaibigan doon, but I don't spend time there. I mainly do, you know, posting, cross-posting, yung mga dapat gawin para sa negosyo. Yun po yung ginagawa ko doon. So, para sa mga gusto po na sa atin na maka really um, productive. Think about creating private accounts. At yung mga tao lang talagang importante sa sa'yo, dun mo i-add. Para meron kang time na, oh, pupunta ako dito, tingnan ko yung nangyari sa family ko. And then, okay, business time. It's time to work on my business. I'm gonna go on this other account, spend 30 minutes there, do the posting, this and that. Networking. Yun ang gagawin mo dun sa isang account mo. Networking. So, yun po ang um, maibibigay ko sa inyong advice regarding that. And I'll be talking a little bit more about that, how to, you know, increase your productivity in relation to that. In other ways, sa mga upcoming days, kasi meron po tayong i-roll out na very exciting projects sa Filipino success movement that relates to um, pangkabuhayan online and how you can do it effectively. So, uh, watch out po tayo dyan. So, uh, basahin po natin ulit ang mga comments dito. Kasi medyo nag-carried away ako doon sa ating usapin tungkol sa social media. Sabi ni, sino ba mga nandito? Give me a moment po. Sa, oh, hi, Abby. Hello. Leilin. Yes. Pinu inuunang pamilya. Very good. Yeah, continue your daily schedule. And then si Marlene nangihina daw siya pag wala siyang magawa. Yeah, ako rin, Marlin. Parehas tayo. Wala po tayong routine sa buhay. Hindi po natin masisimulan yung trabaho na dapat unahin kagaya po na lang po ng pagising sa umaga. Yeah, very true. Your morning sets your day, right? So if you don't make use of your morning in a productive way, parang masisira na yung tone ng iyong araw. Um, tama po, sabi ni Sheila, sabi ni Sheshe, para may basis po or guide. Minsan kasi nakakalimutan natin yung priorities natin. Yes, that's so true. So, yes, and I said, trabaho, that's great, Marlin. And then, sabi ni Sheila, yung tipong pag wala kang ginagawa, maghapon, di mo maiintind naiintindihan kung inaantok o kakain ka. Yeah, totoo nga. Ano, wala kang maiisip kundi kumain na lang. It's not good for the health. Okay, Leia Lynn, we have to live a meaningful life po kasi there's no permanence in life. Yeah, that's so true. Especially in this um, pandemic environment that we have right now. Thank you. Thank you, Marily and Genevieve. It helps us to manage our time, makes us to be aware of what we have accomplished. So very true. Tala, ang ating butihing VA. Tala, sa mga baguhan po sa ating channel, again, uh, I would like to introduce to you a few key people who helped me run the movement. Isa na po si Tala. Uh, Tala used to be one of our followers. Sumali po siya sa contest. And sa galing po na ipinakita niya, siya ay napili naming VA. So currently, she works for us as a virtual assistant po. Kasama po niya si, Le uh, si Ronalyn. So itong dalawa po nating dating followers, kasalukuyan po nabigyan na natin ng trabaho. They are working for Filipino Success Movement. So sabi ni Tala, priority management. Hindi pa rin ako magaling dito, pero this is one thing na gusto ko maging magaling. Kapag wala kasi nito, walang direksyon. 
kung ano na lang ang ginagawa at ang bilis ma-distract. Yes, especially ngayon, ano, daming ano, mga notifications. Kaya lahat po ng notification bell off. Put them off. I've turned off all my notification bells. I do not want any distractions. So isa pong tip din yan na gusto kong ipamahagi sa inyo. Trisha, same here, Doc. I have notes. Sobrang makalimutin po kasi talaga. Parehas tayo. Iyan, no? Lagi akong may notes. Either dito or dito. Most of the time dito kasi I kind of um, carry this with me all around and I can always check kung kailangan. Sabi ni Tala, guilty here. Nagko-close ako ng FB pag need ko mag-aral or mag-work. Yes, totoo. So you have to turn your notification off. Layalin, mas masarap sa pakiramdam na maging productive. Yeah, of course, right? Yung mga small wins kasi, ladies um, and gentlemen, yun pong ating mga small wins. Yung mga unti-unti nating mga tagumpay. You know, like for example, you accomplish something. It feeds on its own. It's like a cycle. It will help you accomplish more. Kasi, uy, nagawa ko ito. What's next? ba? Diba? Ang sarap mag-ano eh. <laughs> ako, I'm guilty about this. I try to, kapag ito, like itong priorities ko, I have priorities here. Ang sarap ng feeling ko pag nache-checkan ko siya, you know, like you have this, em, em, uh, what do you call this, emoji? And so, itong emoji na to, favorite ko ito, oh, nandito na nga siya sa aking, look at my emojis, yung aking um, green check mark, nakaka-addict po. If you just put, you know, emojis on all these pagkahaba-haba yung task list ko. Ganyan po kahaba ang aking task list. list. So, anyway, um, it's a gratifying feeling. Ang sarap pagka um, mach-check mo yun. Uh, Mar Marlin, minsan po binibilang ko ang mga nagawa ko. Yes, parehas tayo. <laughs> Gusto ko gayahin ako ng anak ko. Yeah, it's, it's a great way to set an example, for sure. Sabi ni I don't know how to read this. Uh, Aine at Chico. Hello po. Hi. And then, sabi naman ni Leilin, I have my online business. Yes, that's great, Leilin. Especially, at ito nga ang ating mga online sellers. Kailangan tayo ang mga pinaka, you know, uh, disiplinadong tao. Kasi sa online world, ang daming distractions, right? Ang daming pwedeng, you know, i-click na mga link dito dyan. But you have to remain focused. Kaya nga dapat, nandun sa routine mo yung list na kailangan mong i-follow so that when you're veering off from your schedule, you kind of just go back, oh, oh nga pala, this is what I need to do, right? Um, sabi, giving your schedule. Yes, you're welcome, Leolyn. Si Sheila then has an online business. See, a lot of our followers have online businesses. And so, kayo ang, you know, mag-benefit a lot from this. Online seller din si Marlin. Yes, um, sabi ni Aine, very informative. Thank you. Thank you for appreciating. Yes, maglagay ka ng timer, Leo. It really works. Pero you have to, you know, have that discipline to actually follow the timer then. Um, kasi ka, minsan ang dali ding ignore, di ba? But if you train yourself na, okay, timer, and then I'm gonna, you know, like stop from here. The more you train, parang muscle yan, guys. Remember, muscle, di ba? Muscle analogy, the more you train yourself to do something, uh, the more, the stronger you become at that task. Di ba lagi kong sinasabi yun? So, it's the same thing with discipline. Pag dinisiplina mo ang sarili mo, okay, I need to set the specific time and that's it, that's it. Yun na yun, right? And it's okay, minsan kung hindi mo masunod, don't be too harsh on yourself. The important thing is, you know, the next day or the next hour. So, you can always pick up where you um, left off. Okay, and Lisel, thank you. Salamat sa pag-appreciate. Hello, Isa. How are you, Isa? Ito pa yung ati, isa pa sa ating mga seller, si Isa. Businesswoman din. Sabi naman ni Tala, si Lil One muna daw. Ready for breakfast, tsaka na lang siya mag-open ng social media. That's great. Yeah. And, sino pa ba nandito? Time management is important. Know your limits. Tama. Yes, true. Um, sabi ni Leolyn, I admire you for being productive every day. Yeah, thank you, Leolyn. You know, it took me a, a long time to really get here. And I will be sharing some tips with you guys. That's why watch out for the video na I re-release ko about how to be ultra productive. Para meron pa tayo mga ibang tips, yung mga talagang sinundan ko to transform my, 
um, life around, to transform how I do things. Kasi dati, very unproductive din ako. Ako ang reyna ng pagiging unproductive. But the good news is, it can be changed. At kayang-kaya nyo ring gawin yan, for sure. So, oh, thank you, Lehilin. That's so sweet. Okay, tapos my time. Yeah. So, if there's one thing, guys, that I want to um, emphasize, pag magkakreate kayo ng routine, ng schedule, kailangan, di ba lagi natin sinasabi yung harmony? Four aspects, right? It doesn't have to be strictly equally divided kasi imposible naman yun. You will spend most of your day working kasi that's the reality of life. But it doesn't mean to say na you cannot have quality time in the other aspects, right? Kasi apat na aspeto yun. You do have your physical, di ba? So nandiyan yung physical wellness natin. So physical is health and wealth, di ba? So, nandun yung emotional, which is yung key relationships mo. So, hindi mo pwedeng pabayaan yun. Because kung papabayaan mo yung emotional, the mental, the spiritual aspects, those will start to erode and impact yung ibang aspects pa. Right? So, lahat sila connected eh. So, make sure when you do your routine that you guys will factor that in. Put that in your schedule. Put that in your, doon sa i-create mong schedule for the day. Kasama yun. Like, when are you gonna do your exercise, for example? It can be 30 minutes. Doesn't matter, right? Uh, currently, yung recommendation natin, according to evidence, you, you need just 30 minutes, really, of moderate intensity exercise. You don't need to overdo it. Basta meron kang 30 minutes na nag-increase yung heart rate mo you had moderate intensity exercise, that's all you need. You can do brisk walking, pwede mong sundan yung mga videos namin, pwede ka mag-follow ng Team Healthy um, Wellness Program. I-release namin soon. Pasensya na po at medyo may mga delays lang tayong konti at napakarami pa pong inaayos, but it'll be coming in soon. So, factor that in. Kailan mo gagawin yun sa araw mo? Is it ba pagising mo? So, normally kasi ako, I do it early in the morning. Sometimes if I'm unable to do it in the morning, then sometimes in the evening then. So, kailan mo gagawin yun? Number one, kailan mo ipapasok yung quality time with your kids? Is it gonna be in the morning when you um, take care of them prior to school? Is it going to be sometime in the evening as well? Parang quality time ninyong mag-anak. Diba? Kailan mo uh, mag kailan ka mag-quality time sa iyong better half, sa iyong spouse? When are you gonna do that? right? Kailan ang quality time mo with your friends or family, like other family members, kung ano man yung situation mo. Ako kasi wala akong family dito. So, um, I mean, other than my key, my immediate family, I don't really have my sisters or brother here or cousins or malayo yung cousin ko. So, I make time to have quality time with my friends. So, important yan because it helps you get into this pathway of yung harmony. Tapos, kailan ka mag- time, you know, to develop yung spirituality mo in whatever way that means to you, diba? So, ito naman, mahirap po mag outside sa sales kaya nag-iisip ako ng iba. Hindi ako productive this time. Well, you know, sometimes, Grace, it's uh, like this pandemic is providing us with, um, you know, a time to think out of the box. So, Meron akong good news for you, Grace. If you hang in there and you stay tuned, um, marami tayong i-roll out na programs dito sa Filipino Success Movement that can help you, may help you dito sa iyong dilemma. Okay? Kasi uh, we are big in believing um, about yung mga alternative ways of, you know, earning your living. Kasi nga, ito yung nangyari sa pandemic. Yung karamihan ng mga uh, ating mga negosyo or career have been put on hold, yung iba nang wala ng trabaho. So we do have to find other ways. And I'm glad to say that if you stick around, we will be offering, you know, something that can help you there. Um, kasi nga, we really want to empower ang ating mga kapwa Pilipino na magkaroon ng uh, businesses online. So very exciting. Stay tuned. Okay, so sabi naman ni Marlin, nag-start po ako mag-ignore Mag-focus ako sa alam ko na makakatulong sa akin. Yes. And yeah, focus, you know, when you are uh, also planning yung routine mo, don't forget about your mental growth. So, 
yung mga kinoconsume natin, total magkoconsume ka lang din naman ng information, for example, let it be something that will contribute doon sa mga importanteng aspeto ng buhay mo. So, for example, like listening to this broadcast right now, you are giving me time right now, and I really thank you for that. But what I'm giving you in exchange is something that can help you. So when you consume content, make sure na yung content na kinoconsume ninyo ay merong magandang maidudulot sa buhay ninyo, right? That it will help you grow in some way. It could be physical way, baka may mapanood kayong exercise na ginagawa namin ng Team Healthy na pwede yung sundan, so that's gonna help you in that way. It could be emotional, baka may napapanood ka or follow ka, content creator, a vlogger who, you know, talks about connections, relationships. So that's a good use of your time. Kasi natutulungan ka mag-grow. It could be, you know, like mental growth education like ganito, right? Or spiritual growth. Pero all the other things that are mostly like parang entertainment lang, you, you have to think about that if you really need it. Okay lang yung mga paminsan-minsan na gusto mong ma-entertain. Like ako, I like watching Boss Carepa kasi, you know, he he kind of like gives me the break I need. Gusto ko minsan tumao eh. But, meron yung limit. I don't, you know, spend the whole <laughs> hanggang 2 a.m. watching. It, it's it's set, di ba? You have to have a routine. Hanggang kailan mo gagawin yun? Hindi yung buong oras mo mauubos doon. Right? So, ano yan eh? It's a balancing act. So, yun po ang ating laging tatandaan. Okay. Dan Lok. Oh yeah, I love Dan Lok. You know, he lives here. Taga dito rin siya sa Vancouver, Leyland. Si Dan Lok. I love, love, love Dan Lok. So, uh, yeah. So, anyway, yun po ang ating talakayan tonight. So, I hope that you learned something or, you know, morning na sa inyo dyan ngayon. Again, watch out for the video that I'll be releasing about how to be ultra productive. Kung may mga kaibigan kayo sa inyong online groups, please share the video. Imbitahan niyo sila sa Filipino Success Movement Group. Sa mga hindi po nakakaalam, isa po itong very supportive community where people join together. Excuse me, sorry. Join together para mag-share uh, ng kanilang mga learnings, mag-share ng kanilang mga challenges, uh, mag-share din ng business. So, meron po tayo doong Promo Tuesday. So, yung mga meron pong negosyo dyan, gusto maging parte ng isang samahan na very supportive, please join us, promote your businesses. We're here to support you. Yung mga, ano po natin, um, online sellers, yung may mga iba pang binibenta, whatever business you're in, as long as legal po at hindi immoral, you're welcome to join our community. We are here to support you. At marami pa pong iba kayo makukuhang support doon. So stay tuned lang po. Uh, join us po sa aming movement. Okay? And, uh, oh, Tita Mayet, hello. Sabi ni Tita Mayet, set priorities of what you're doing and make sure you finish it. Yes, totoo po. Okay, sabi naman ni um, Linaban SLBJ. Hello, Doc. Stay home po ako na ina. Pakiramdam ko po palagi akong pagod everyday. Kaya gusto ko sana ma-boost yung iisip at katawan ko. May nag-invite po sa akin na networking at ang product ay pang pa-boost po. Need po ako ng advice about yun. Siya kung ito ba ang tamang vitamins para sa akin. Unfortunately, I'm unable to give you... Um, you know, uh, any medical advice kasi it goes against yung aking, uh, aking um, responsibility dito. What I can say is, uh, kung supplement lang naman yan, this is a general advice, okay? Kung supplement naman yan at vitamins, then it should be okay. Um, always read the label. Uh, tingnan mo kung if the things are saying vitamins yun and stuff and it can be found over the counter as well, then it's probably okay. Kung meron kang mga hindi maintindihan doon at mabasa, it's best to seek the um, advice of a medical professional. Sometimes yung mga patients ko, they come in and they bring in yung mga supplements. Doc, pwede ba ito? Pwede ba yan? And then we discuss it. So that's the best way to go about it. Okay? And yeah, and whatever business it is, kailangan, it's something, always remember guys, it's not just about uh, making money. Okay? Kasi the reality is the money will come as long as itong product that you are endorsing is something you really believe in, number one. Diba? Lagi ko sinasabi yun eh. The product should be something that you yourself 
are proud to endorse at gagamitin mo rin at, or kaya ginagamit mo na, number one. Number two, it has to be something that will help other people in their problem. So, um, syempre, hindi na natin isasama dito yung mga immoral na mga bagay, unethical and all that. I'm talking about mga legit, right? Mga legitimate products na walang halong pangluloko, walang halong, you know, yung, pang, yung iisahan mong kapwa mo, lalamangan mo, hindi yung mga ganun. Kundi yung mga products na uh, maayos, mga maayos na products. So it has to be something you really believe in, okay? It has to be something that will provide will provide a solution to another person's problem. So ano pa man yun, right? So kunyari, nagbebenta ka ng healthy food, so that's providing a solution to a person's problem. Kunyari, nagbebenta ka ng insurance, that's providing a solution to another person's problem. Vitamins, baka may mga kailangan yan, right? So but basta it has to be something that you yourself uh, are not hesitating to use and that you can actually really be proud of to promote, di ba? Yun ang golden rule doon eh. Kasi kung ikaw mismo, hindi mo kayang gamitin or endorse yan ng buong puso mo, then why are you selling it, right? So yun ang golden rule about networking and selling it has to be something you rule, really believe in yourself at ikaw mismo ay gagamit or ginagamit mo yung product na yun. Okay? So, I think that's about it. Medyo napapaus na yata ako sa kakasalita. It's ano na po, 40, min 40 minutes na tayo dito. Okay. So, meron pa po. Can you um, throw in a few different recommendations for the next topic that you want me to talk about? Just type them here. Sulat nyo lang po. At I will uh, look at your comments and we'll try to create uh, an informative session around your comment. Mga gusto nyo matutunan, can you share dito what you would like me to talk about? Um, I love talking about, as you know, yung different aspects. Um, yung, uh, I love talking about business. I'll be talking a lot more about yung business and entrepreneurship doon sa ating group. Maglalabas din ako ng videos about that. But is there something that you want me to focus on or you'd like me to talk about? Please um, ilagay dito sa comment section at i-highlight po natin. Ano po ang inyong gustong malaman? Or gusto ninyong talakayin natin? As you know, I always pull up your comments because I really want it to be interactive. I really want you guys to you know, like be part of itong movement natin. You give me your comments. We share it with other people. A lot of you have so many uh, mga golden ano, insights and nakakatuwang basahin, nakakatuwang ishare kasi lahat naman tayo natututo, di ba, sa isa't isa. So, ano pa po? Uh, sabi ni Anne, Anna, oh, salamat, Anna. Yeah, alam mo, Anna, kailangan ko gumamit ng mic kasi mahina lang boses ko eh. Yeah, oh, that's so nice. That's so sweet. Salamat. And see, okay, so sabi ni Sheshe about emotional wellness. Okay, so emotional wellness, there are a few different aspects of that. One of those is a relationship. So are you specifically thinking about relationships, Sheshe? Is that something that you want me to talk about? You know how, ano kasi yan eh, usually relationships is all about communication, right? Yung paano ka makikitungo doon sa mga, uh, mah mga mahal mo sa buhay, mga kasamahan mo sa trabaho, like different aspects of relationships. And doon din syempre yung emotional wellness mo sa sarili mo. Yung mga iba, a lot of you have asked me questions about, you know, stress management. And I talk a bit more um, on that doon sa aking platform na Iris Radev MD. Uh, probably some of you know that I'm about to release yung program. It's called Pathway to Healing Program. And it deals a lot with, uh, you know, like dealing with suffering, uh, emotional well-being then in some ways. So maybe have a look at that. But I'll consider that. So thank you. Mental awareness. Sabi naman ni Anna. Okay, Anna, uh, point taken. So sabi naman ni Leilin, how to influence other people. Oh, magandang usapan niyan. Magandang usapin niyan, Leilin. I think I'll be talking about that more in the group. Kasi, you know, for... Um, our general followers, not all of our followers are um, entrepreneurial, pero a lot of the people in the group are entrepreneurial. So maybe I'll be talking about that there. 
how to have growth mindset. Hi, Oliver. Welcome. Uh, so growth mindset, I believe in some of the videos. Uh, if you haven't watched all of our videos, maybe go to our library because we, we talked about uh, the growth mindset in some of the videos there. But I will um, thank you for the input. I will consider that as well. Um, business about the pan after this pandemic. Yes, Grace. Actually, isa, yun nga yung sinasabi ko kanina na if you stick around uh, dito sa ating platform, we will be rolling out very, very exciting opportunities for sa ating mga kababayan on how to, you know, create uh, online businesses. How, how do you um, create a presence in the digital space? Uh, and, and this is to address itong ang mga kawalan ng trabaho. For example, you may be an OFW tapos nawalan ka ng trabaho or you may have had a brick and mortar business dati and nagsara because of the pandemic. Then how do you uh, leverage itong digital platform to create a business online? So please stay tuned. Very, very exciting po yan. Mental awareness. Yes. Yeah. So I'll be talking uh, a lot about that as well. And then, hi, Kathy. Hello. Consistently motivated. And, okay, again, sabi ni Oliver, growth mindset. Yeah. So, um, uh, one final word before I leave you guys, kasi I also have my set time to do things. <laughs> Alam nyo naman ako always by schedule. Um, the motivation kasi, this is how it works. You know, not every day will be perfect na parang lagi kang high. Diba? You, you won't always be motivated. That's the truth. Okay? So kahit ako, I, I go through days na meron talagang ganun eh. There, there will be days na you will find yourself quite in a slump. But the thing is, this is where yung discipline comes in. So when you, you yung motivation level mo babagsak, kasi may nangyari. Let's say you're facing, you know, a challenge in life. Kasi wala namang taong walang problema. So may di pinagdadaanan kang problema and bumagsak yung motivation mo. So how are you gonna keep moving forward? It's having that discipline. And dito nga papasok yung gagawin mo automatic, mag-routine ka. You will do, you will create a routine for yourself. Kasi yung routine na yun, yun yung susundan mo na, okay, today I'm not feeling, you know, I'm not, I'm not I don't have that inspiration. Wala akong, hindi ako inspired ngayon. So magsastop na lang ba ako? Stop ko na ba itong ginagawa ko? So, this is where yung discipline comes in to actually follow through sa list mo. Na kahit hindi mo feel ngayon, you know, na to do something, pero na, na andyan siya eh, nandyan oh, priorities, nandyan. Then you just, you know, like, get going. You know, even if hindi mo feel gawin, try mo lang gawin for like, say, 20 minutes. Try, try to do it 20 minutes. Before you know it, you'll be quite immersed in whatever it is you're doing and itutuloy-tuloy mo yan, right? And you train yourself to keep doing that over and over until maging habit mo siya, right? So it, it's showing up in those days na hindi mo feel. Yun yung secret doon. Kasi wala talagang endless motivation, eh, wala. But it, it's having that discipline to show up Kaya hindi mo gusto, kaya gusto mo, kaya maganda ang araw mo, kaya hindi maganda ang araw mo, you're gonna show up, right? Kasi most of the time, the people who make it are the people who showed up. It's not so much the most intelligent, it's not so much yung mga pinakamagaling, kundi yung mga consistently nag-show up day in, day out, right? So that's why, guys, have your routine. Ngayon po, bago matapos ang araw na to, Get your pen and paper kung kayo ay old style. I do a mixture of both. I do like this, I do that. Um, have it handy. Kailangan laging madaling, dapat madaling dukutin. Para kahit saan ka, kunyari you're in the grocery. I do, I do this a lot. If I'm, for example, mahaba ang pila, I need to do something. I pull up my list. I try to see, alin dito ang pwede kong gawin habang nandito ako. Habang, you know, you're I'm killing time, right? Kasi may mga bagay talagang, Ano eh, kailangan mo mag-antay. So what are you going to do with that time? So that's the time I create um, topics for my content, for example. Or that's the time I scribble notes or I look at my schedule and titina ko, alin dito ang pwede kong gawin yan? Oh, ito pala, pwede ako mag-create ng post. 
pwede pala akong ganito. Pwede ko palang i-email si ganito at this time. Because it's on my to-do. Pero pag wala kang to-do to begin with, wala. Diba? Parang sayang yung time na yun. Sayang. Time is golden, friends. So time, time napaka-importante ng oras. Mahalaga ang oras mo. Huwag mong sayangin. Okay? So yun lang po. Try to be, um, show up. Just show up every day. Yun lang naman yun eh. So, and one last comment, and I do have to go, friends. Sabi ni Genevieve, self-esteem po, Doc. I'm a shy type person. That's the biggest problem of myself since I was in high school. Now that I'm in my 30s, I'm still stuck. Um, marami akong natutunan siguro ito sa FSM. Yeah, so if you haven't watched Genevieve yung ating uh, video about yung mababang tingin sa sarili, try to watch that. But a lot of... Uh, self-esteem problems. And if you haven't watched pala, I highly recommend that you watch you, you watch yung uh, bakit iba't iba yung mga ugali ng tao because that'll help you understand why nasa stuck tayo in certain levels of, you know, yung triangle of needs natin. And so, um, uh, don't worry kasi marami pa tayong i-release na videos about this, about how, you know, how we understand yung process na pinagdaanan natin, bakit yung mga iba sa atin, parang masyadong naapektuhan yung self-esteem. It has to do with our programming. So watch out for that, okay? So, uh, ito na lang po. Basahin ko na lang mga final comments. Thank you. Thank you din, Marlin. Hello, Natalie. Again, good morning. And maging productive, yes. But don't forget din, Leolin, to have a balance, right? You need to also rest. But you're right. Kung kayang gawin habang, you know, um, tagaalaga ng baby, why not? Right? Uh, Tita Mayat, yeah, that's so true. Arlene, sabi ni Arlene, maganda po talaga may to-do list para organized and maximize natin. Yes, that's so critical. Especially sa isang negosyante. And then, having inspirations po keep us motivated. Yes, that's so true. You have to know your why. Diba? Kasi minsan, pagka hindi mo na kaya dahil nga as I always say, pagka ikaw ay medyo nangihin, pinaghihinaan ng loob or you're, you're feeling really down for the day, think about why you're doing this. Bakit mo ba gustong baguhin ang buhay ninyo? Para saan ba? ba? Para sa mga anak mo, para sa asawa mo, para sa pamilya mo. Sa tatay, nanay mo na gusto mong tulungan, right? So even on your down days, that's one of the most powerful motivators is to think about why you're doing it in the first place. Diba? Yung itong kung ano mang journey ang iyong pinagdadaanan, why are you doing it? It's because of the people you love. Diba? So time is gold. Super true, Marlin. And marami po akong natutunan. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you very much for... Um, maraming salamat sa panunood sa amin, Genevieve. And thank you. Thank you din sa'yo. Thank you. Um, oh, salamat na marami, Emma Rose. Maraming salamat. I really appreciate your comment. Okay. So, yun na lang po muna ang ating pag-uusapan. Uh, it's been a good uh, 53 minutes na. I hope that it was time well spent for you. Uh, as always, I don't want to waste your time. I recognize your time is important. So, every time magkakaroon tayo ng talakayan, I'm really uh, hoping to provide value sa inyo. Okay? So, yun na lang po muna. If you have any suggestions, um, please send it doon lang sa ating FSM page. Nandiyan po si Tala and Rona din to look at yung mga comments. Uh, sometimes po, the, the comments, I'm not able to comment um, on all your, <laughs> kasi ang dami po. So, they help me a lot in doing the comments. Um, pero I read, I read the comments. I'm not able to reply to all of them. Most of the time, it's our VAs who reply. Um, but they are, you know, they, they have the same mindset naman. So, yeah, but I do read yung inyong mga suggestions po. I really consider your suggestions. So, maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng nanood. Time na po para magpahinga. And I will be um, creating yung video po natin about how to be ultra productive para lalo tayong matulungan sa ating success, meaningful, makabuluhang tagumpay na success journey natin. Hindi lang basta-bastang success, kundi lagi nating sinasabi yung kompleto po sa apat na aspeto. 
So, yun na lang po muna and good night everyone. Um, have a great day sa mga nasa Philippines. Good night, North America. And God bless you all po. Mabuhay po tayo, mga Pilipino.